Smart automation, better business. Learn how to optimize your business with Solved. Hi, I'm Spencer, a consultant at Solved.cloud, where we help you automate your business. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to choose the right AI model for a given task. With so many AI providers, applications, and models, it can be really difficult to figure out where to start and what model to use for your given task. After doing various AI analyses, as well as implementations, we've been able to boil this down into two main questions that you should ask yourself anytime you're going to use AI or anytime you're performing a task that you think AI might be good at. First, how complex is your task? And second, what type of task is it? If you ask yourself these two questions at the beginning, you'll be able to really quickly start to determine which model is going to be most successful in helping you complete your task. So first, how complex is your task? Let's say your task is fairly complex. For example, it requires critical thinking, multiple steps, or deep understanding. If you have a complex task, we typically recommend using one of two different types of models. First, a reasoning model. These are models like O3 from OpenAI or Gemini 2.5 Pro from Google. Second, a deep research model. These are tools like OpenAI Deep Research, Gemini Deep Research, or Perplexity Deep Research. These two types of models are geared to help with more complex tasks. Let's dive into reasoning models. They're designed to use human-like reasoning to analyze tasks and implement structured logic to adapt responses based on complexity, context, and nuances before responding. You should typically use a reasoning model when your task requires contextual understanding or multi-step logical decision-making and or analysis. So one example could be, let's say I'm 40 years old and I wanted to retire in 25 years. I have $50,000 to invest and the market has high inflation and moderate interest rates. And I want AI to help develop a personalized investment strategy and explain the reasoning behind that investment strategy. This would be a really good task for a reasoning model because it will think through multiple steps, adapt its response based on my context, and provide a structured output with reasoning to back up its logic. One of the most widely used reasoning models is O3 from OpenAI. To show you how to get there, first go to chatgpt.com, then click to select a new model. Here we're going to select O3 for advanced reasoning, then simply type in your task to use the reasoning model. Another common model is Gemini 2.5 Pro from Google. That's actually, it looks like it's the default model here, but here's where you can select your models. And that will also use advanced reasoning for your different tasks. Next, let's take a look at deep research models. They're designed to perform extensive multi-step research on a given topic. And you should generally use them when you want to gain an in-depth understanding of something or generate a comprehensive report. One example of this is, let's say you want to generate a report or investigate AI ethics in healthcare. You could prompt a deep research model to investigate ethical challenges and develop guidelines for AI use in healthcare, including diagnosis, treatment, and patient privacy. Then a deep research model will take all of this information and carefully analyze a vast amount of resources to generate an in-depth, comprehensive, tailored report. Let's look at how we can use a couple of deep research models. First, OpenAI Deep Research. Simply go to chatgpt.com, type in your prompt. In this case, we're going to use our healthcare example and then select deep research and hit enter. To use Gemini Deep Research, we're going to go to gemini.google.com and it's a very similar process. We'll go ahead and type in our same prompt. In this case, I'm just going to copy and paste that and select deep research and perplexity. Deep research is very similar. We're going to go to perplexity.ai.com, type in our prompt and hit research. In all three of these cases, it looks like here I have the free version. But in all three of these cases, assuming that you have the paid versions required, you'll be able to use the deep research functionalities. So returning to the two questions that you should ask yourself anytime you want to use an AI model. First, how complex is my task? And second, what type of task is it? Now that we've looked at how to handle complex tasks, what do you do if your task isn't as complex? Or maybe you just need a quick response. In this case, we would recommend using more traditional lightweight LLMs such as GPT 4.0 or Cloud 3.7 Sonnet. When you're dealing with tasks that aren't as complex or maybe you just need a quicker response or just for your general everyday tasks, in this case, we like to look at what type of task you're trying to accomplish. This is going to the second question. So what type of task is it? First, for everyday tasks such as drafting emails, quick learning, or creating to-do lists, we generally recommend using the default models for ChatGPT, Claude, or Gemini. 
There are plenty of other providers such as DeepSeek, Grok, Mistral, etc. that you can use for tasks like this, but really it comes down to personal preference. There are tons of ways to benchmark these models and figure out which one's the best. And frankly, because there's such a tight race for the best AI model, different models from different providers are going to continually surpass each other. So it's hard to keep track of which one is the best. Even Mostly this comes down to personal preference. For your everyday tasks, we recommend trying the different top models from these providers and figuring out which works best for you. Next, another type of task that you probably perform various times a day is Google search or using a search engine. For search engine AIs, we generally recommend using perplexity.ai. Here I'm at perplexity.ai and I can ask any type of question. Let's go ahead and use one of these default questions that it uh, is recommending. Apple blocks Fortnite's return. So you can search just like you would do a Google search and perplexity is gonna per pull from different online resources to give you a response. This is a really nice way to receive responses like you would for a Google search without having to sift through various websites. Instead, Perplexity does it for you and provides its sources to these different, for this different information. Similarly, ChatGPT provides a search functionality. If we go to chatgpt.com and click search, then we can search the web. Let's go ahead and use this default that it gives us. It's gonna search the web and provide a very similar type of response. Another type of task you might find yourself doing quite frequently is reviewing different files and sifting through tons of information. One of our favorite tools for this is Notebook LM. It allows you to upload a vast amount of different resources, files, documents, and quickly sift through them to get the answers that you're looking for. In this example, let me go ahead and upload a source to Notebook LM. You can choose various different types of files. In this case, I'm going to upload a fake PDF of a market analysis for a fake company that I actually had AI create for me. In this case, it's for Noventra Smart Home. And let's say I wanna know what is our target market? So it will go ahead and look through that PDF document. Again, you can add tons of different documents here, but in this case, pull some of the key characteristics about the target market, as well as citing its sources. So if I wanna figure out where it got this from, I can go ahead and click that, and it will highlight within the document where it pulled its information from. This is really useful for sifting through lots of information or different files. Now I could spend all day going through different types of tasks and talking about which AI models are gonna best help you accomplish those tasks from image and video generation to note takers to graphic design. There are tons of AI tools available. But again, if you ever feel yourself getting overwhelmed with which AI model you should use, the first questions you should ask yourself are, how complex is your task and what type of task are you trying to accomplish? This will help you really quickly get to the types of AI tools that are gonna make you more efficient and effective. If you have any other questions about how AI can help you or your business, please reach out to us by going to solved.cloud. And if this video has been helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more AI content just like this. Thank you so much for watching. We can't wait to help you automate your business. Please like, comment, or subscribe for more.